Hello, let me show you 10 things that you should do at first when you start using Poco X7 Pro. So first of all, we can finish the setup. If you open the notifications, you might see the information about the ongoing uh, setup that is still not finished or that is still in progress. You can also find it in the settings. If you go to the settings below the search option, you should find the information about the setup that is still not finished or that is in progress. So what you need to do is simply tap on this information in order to finalize this setup so that you are no longer bothered with this information in the future. And essentially we can skip everything that we don't need. So once again, we will be asked to set up using another device. So just like we had this when we went through the initial configuration, the first one. But like I said, we can just skip pretty much everything that will be um, visible in this process. Uh, but once we go through the same thing again, it should no longer be visible. Now, of course, you can set up the screen lock which is essentially something that we should do uh, in order to protect our device. So this is actually a good opportunity to, uh, to set up the password. Now, in my case, I'm going to use a pin code. And let's wait five seconds in order to proceed. There we go. Let's press got it. And now we can use a number code, uh, something between four and 16 digits. I'm going to use a simple one like four zeros. And then once again, confirm and you should be done. Then we have the screen protector tip where uh, screen protectors may interfere with the screen fingerprint recognition um, because we are now moved to the fingerprint. I'm gonna select that, I don't want to show this again. Actually, no, uh, you can do that, I'm not gonna do that, but you can do this. So if you want to, you can immediately also add your fingerprint over here. Uh, so just simply press on the scanner over here at the bottom and then keep uh, placing and taking out the finger from the screen. You don't have to press this screen, you need to simply touch it in order to scan your finger. And of course, fingerprint is a really convenient tool that allows you to unlock your device uh, with just your finger. And try to scan every angle of your finger so that you don't have any issues in the future with scanning. Press done. Now we have the fingerprint uh, settings. Uh, you can go through these one by one in order to set it up for yourself. I'm just gonna go back. Well, now we have the option to copy apps and data. I'm not gonna do that. Um, then we can let contacts nearby find and share with you. I'm just gonna choose no thanks. Then we have Gemini, so we can press continue. And then uh, we have the Hey Google voice command. Uh, so if you want to use it, you can of course turn it on. I'm gonna choose no thanks. Then we have the wallet. And like I said, we can just simply skip all of this and later on in the settings, if you want to, you can go back to these um, individual settings and set them up uh, as you wish. And of course, if you want to, you can um, still uh, follow all these instructions that will be visible over here in order to actually set up um, whatever it was um, shown on the screen. It's really up to you and your personal preference. So once the first setup is done, uh, the first after the first setup actually, uh, then we can proceed with everything else that should be done before we move on with our device. And the first thing is, of course, the system update. So still in the settings at the top, we have about phone and here you should have the update button. So you want to simply press this update button and then wait for the information to show up. And then at the bottom, we can press download update. Wait a couple of seconds or even a couple of minutes, depending on your internet speed to download and then to install the update. And once it is done after several minutes, you should be able to simply reboot your device. So press reboot now and let's wait for the device to restart. All right, so now let's unlock our device. We, of course, we will need to enter our pin code in order to unlock our device for the first time. There we go. And then we can proceed with next steps. So let's get back to the settings. And as you can see, we have the system update. We also got the notification, so that's good. We can skip that for now. And the next thing that we can do is sign into Google. If you didn't do that yet for some reason, then of course you can go to Google in the settings. And over here, you should be able to sign in. You can also go to Xiaomi account in order to 
create or login into your Xiaomi account, which is quite convenient as well. But of course, still, it is just optional. And we can also go to additional settings in here if we go to accounts in sync. Then over here, you should be able to add uh, account as well. So this is also a way to add your Google account over here. So once that is done, the next thing that we can do is update our apps. So at the top of the settings, we have system app uh, apps updater. If you go over here, you will find all apps that can be updated, uh, even including the bloatware, which we will get into it in in a couple of uh, in a couple of minutes. But first, we're gonna update everything um, so that we are just done with the updates. This is of course just the first way to update apps because we also have apps in the Play Store. So we're gonna check if there are some updates for different apps in the Play Store as well. This is why we need the Google account so that we have access to the um, to the Play Store. So let's go to the Play Store. Um, let's get started. We can use biometrics over here. Let's confirm. There we go. And then we are offered to receive special offers and so on and so forth. So we're gonna just choose to no. Now in the top right corner, we can tap on our avatar and then we can go to manage apps and the device. And then over here, as you can see, we have updates available. Now in this case, we have 32 updates pending. So that's quite a bit. Uh, some of them are quite essential, like for instance, the Gmail, Google calendar, and so on and so forth. So of course, feel free to go through these one by one and update them one by one, or you can simply press update all in order to update everything at once. So uh, we can start that and then we can proceed with everything else uh, that we have. Um, so in the meantime, while this is updating, we're gonna proceed. Now, another thing that we should do is disable ads because in some apps that we have installed by default on Poco X7 Pro, we have unfortunately some ads, but fortunately we can quite easily disable them. And in order to disable those ads, first we're gonna open the app drawer, and the first app that we want to get into is Downloads. Over here, tap on these three dots in the top right corner, and then go to Settings. Then over here we have Show Recommended Content. We can simply turn this off. Now, another app is Music. So over here we can tap Music. Let's wait for the app to open. In the top left corner, tap on this icon with two sliders, choose settings, and now over here, go to advanced settings, scroll down, and here you want to disable show ads, play online videos. I mean, this is actually, um, this is up to you, really. This is not related to ads, but you might want to turn this off if you use the app. And we can also definitely disable the personalized uh, recommendations. Now, let's go back, another app, that we can open is security. There we go. Now in the top right corner, tap on this icon, go to cleaner first. And over here you have received recommendations. We can turn this off. Let's go back to the settings. And at the bottom, we once again have received recommendations so we can turn this off as well. And last but not least, we have themes app. In the Teams app, we can also disable ads by going to My Account, then tap on this icon over here in the top right corner in order to open the settings. And here we have Show Ads and Personalized Recommendations. So these are all, I think, uh, ad-related options that we can turn off. So the next thing that we can do is, while being in the app drawer, we can disable app suggestions. So at the top over here, you will see some suggestions. Uh, you can recognize them by the fact that they are not sorted automatically. I mean, uh, by their name alphabetically, that's what I meant. We can tap on this uh, gear icon in the top right corner once again. There we go. And then over here we can disable app suggestions. So now we only have the list of our, um, of our app, um, apps. Yeah. So now let's get rid of the bloatware. As you may have noticed, many apps have been pre-installed after the first configuration, which are really pointless to have. Uh, most of them are some silly games. So what we can do is simply press and hold our finger on the app that we wish to remove, and then we have this trash icon. 
so we can uninstall everything that we wish to not have. So let's get through these apps one by one. There's quite a bit of them, so you can just follow these apps that I uninstalled. You probably have the same list of bloatware. Uh, what else do we have? Um, we have the recorder, the community seems fine. We even have Netflix pre-installed, so that's actually quite convenient. Uh, and TikTok for some people, I guess. Um, I think the music app, well, it cannot be removed or uninstalled actually, but it can be removed from the app drawer. So let's move on. Of course, we have another game over here, Jewels Blast. We don't need that. We have LinkedIn. So for some people, it is um, an app that is pointless as well. So we can remove it as well. I'm going to actually do that. Find device. There we go. Here is another one. And another game. And here's another one. And here, the last one. So these are all games that are really pointless to have on our device, unless, of course, we actually want to play them then. Well, I'm not judging you. Uh, of course, you can uninstall more apps if you wish to. Uh, like, for instance, if you don't use Amazon Music, there is no reason for you to keep this on your phone, so you can uninstall it. The same goes with AliExpress. You can remove this as well. Booking.com, same thing. So we pretty much remove every app that is not necessary for us. Or unnecessary, actually. So remove unnecessary apps, and then we are good to go. Now, we have set up the screen lock already, even with the fingerprint. But if for some reason you skipped that process and you actually want to set up the fingerprint, then you can go to the settings. And then over here, you have fingerprints, fake data, and screen lock. Over here, you can tap on the screen lock. Uh, I have mine, of course, already set up. But if needed, you can turn this off or switch to anything else. We can also find the fingerprint over here. So you can set it up. And the same goes with the face unlock. We can set up the face unlock over here as well, which is, of course, once again, quite convenient. Now, another thing that I find quite annoying on this device is the wallpaper carousel, which can be also disabled. And the carousel allows you to have different wallpaper in the lock screen every time you open the lock screen, pretty much. So we can turn this off as well. And if you wish to do that thing, then you can go to the lock screen in the settings, then choose wallpaper car carousel, and then you want to disable wallpaper carousel over here. Then you want to choose turn off. And then don't agree. And there we go. Now the wallpaper carousel should be disabled. I'm going to actually lock my device to see how does it look like. As you can see now, we have the stock wallpaper. And then we can also go to the settings once again. And this time we're going to go to battery. And if you go to battery protection, there is an optional thing that you can do, and that is enable the battery protection, which allows you to extend the battery life. And what it does by what do you, what do you mean by that essentially is that the while charging the device, the battery will not reach over eighty percent. It will stop at eighty percent, which is the most optimal way of charging um, devices nowadays. Uh, usually you want to charge a device between um, 20, you want to keep the battery level between 20 and 80%, meaning that when you reach 20%, you want to start charging and you want to stop when you reach 80%. So this option allows you to keep um, that setting for you so that you actually do not um, reach over 80%. But like I said, this is actually pretty personal. If you prefer to have actually 100% of the battery charged, then you don't really have to use it. Use it. It is just said that it helps you extend the battery life by doing so. And that's pretty much it. I think these are all essential things that you can do on Poco X7 Pro. Quite a bit of them. Uh, most of the time we spend in the settings um, by updating our device and so on and so forth. But I hope this video was helpful. I hope that at least you got rid of the ads and that you removed the bloatware. And if you need more tutorials for this device, then you can find a bunch of them on my channel. So be sure to check them out if you need to find something or use something. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.